Hello, so we're going to talk a little bit about how to taste a wine now. Um, firstly, the most important thing is to get the right kind of glass. For the same reason that you might decant a red wine to give it some air, uh, for a red wine you want a large glass because the surface area that's in contact with the oxygen in the air will be increased. Uh, for a big flavoured white wine, perhaps something that's been seen uh, oak, then you might want a, a smaller glass but again quite large. For delicate white wines and rosé wines, you might want a smaller glass to limit the effect of oxygen because that's less desirable. And then for sparkling wines, you probably want a flute glass which limits the amount of surface area and prevents the gas from escaping too quickly. Although the top champagnes can often benefit from being served in a white wine glass because the flavour is more important than the fizz. So you simply pour some out. And there are four real stages to tasting a wine. Uh, the first is how it looks, and then how it smells, and then how it tastes, and then finally the conclusions you might draw from that, what food it goes with, whether you like it, whether you think it's good value, that kind of thing. Firstly, swirl it round a bit, and the best way to observe the colour is to hold it at 45 degrees to a light surface, and look where it fades from the deepest colour to the lightest. And in this case, we can see this is our old wine and it's got a lovely orangey brick red tinge to the edge. So that shows that it's had some age. When you smell it, you're looking firstly to make sure that the wine is clean. It doesn't have any off smells of mouldy cork or anything like that. And in this case, we've got some lovely dried fruit aromas, a bit of fig, um, some leather from age. And then when you taste it, it's quite important to make sure you get the wine all the way around the mouth because you pick up different flavours in different parts of your mouth. You pick up bitterness mainly on the gums, sweetness if there is any on the tip of the tongue, acidity or sourness on the sides of the mouth, uh, and the flavours all the way through to the back of the throat. Delicious. Uh, you may notice that I sucked in a little bit of air there, and that's another way to get more oxygen to the wine. Uh, and if you manage to do that whilst you're tasting, you'll experience more flavour uh, as the wine uh, develops even as you're drinking it. Cheers. Cheers.